Hi, this is Michael Osterlink, and I'm here with Jordan Marks. He's the Executive Director of Young Americans for Freedom, and he just recently joined the advisory board for the Just Say Now campaign, which is JustSayNow.com, which is an effort to decriminalize marijuana and end at least the federal prohibition on marijuana. Jordan, as a conservative, why do you support the, the end of the prohibition on marijuana? Well, I th Michael, I think there's a couple issues at play here that we need to examine. Uh, first of all, the issue of marijuana has found itself in the realm of the federal government. And we need to take it back to a constitutional perspective, which is the state's rights, the Tenth Amendment, a fundamental part of America, which is the states should decide issues for themselves which are not directly addressed in the Constitution. And so, as a conservative, one of the key beliefs is enforcing the Constitution. And so, from the federal perspective, we shouldn't even discuss it. We should move it to the states. But from a state's rights issue, there's a couple of things that we should look at. One, I personally uh, do not use marijuana, and uh, I do not encourage folks to do it. I think, uh, you know, it's to each their own to choose what they put in their body, something that doesn't affect others around them. And similar to cigarettes and alcohol, we haven't criminalized those. Why? Because industry is behind it, and they don't want competition. And so we have to look. This is something that's no different that our founding fathers used to smoke marijuana. This goes back to the founding principle of our country, which is a product that was put aside by large industry. And that's what led to the initial banning of marijuana in the United States. So if we look at it from that perspective, okay, it's something you might not agree with, like alcohol or cigarettes, but at the same time, we shouldn't be criminalizing it. We've tried policing marijuana. We've tried the, the route of criminalizing it, and it has failed. We've thrown tons of money at this program and it doesn't work and if you are a private industry and a private business what do you do when a program fails you try something else and that's why you see many conservatives stand up and say well policing failed we shouldn't be putting people in jail for the equivalent of smoking cigarettes or drinking too much alcohol what we should be doing is trying to rehabilitate them and that's what you see is happening with alcohol and cigarettes you have programs there's patches there's other things that allow you to go ahead and choose wisely in your life and educate you. But at no point do we use the law and legislate locally or federally against putting something in your body that's not harmful to other people around you. And part and parcel to that is fiscal responsibility, which is a key proponent of conservatism. We must be fiscally responsible. And the war on drugs, which has evolved as this campaign to go ahead and attack all drugs and stop terrorism, has really been fruitless. And it's a fruitless effort to say we're going to end the war and we're going to stop all drugs. It's like poverty. Are we ever going to stop somebody from being poor? No. But we had to come back and say, okay, again, policing has cost excessive amounts. And people are wondering, why are we still policing this matter? Well, if you look deeper at the issue, the more people we have put in jail whose lives are ruined by being put and having a criminal record now because they've smoked a doobie or whatnot, we want to call it, it's because of the unions that need more people to fill the jails. When you have more people, more things to criminalize, you have more people to put in jail, and the unions get bigger because the union run, unions run the jail systems that hire the officers, that hire the proba uh, pro uh, probation officers, the processing officers. So really this comes down to an issue of are we going to continue a policy that fails because the unions need more, empower more employees to get more money. And as conservatives, we fought unions on all fronts. So why are we backing down on this issue? Is it the issue of morality that you don't agree? There's plenty of people that don't agree with alcohol and don't agree with cigarettes. But as we can see, if we tried to criminalize those two, we would fail. Like the United States has already done. And we're failing now. Majority of the country is accepting or using of marijuana. This is a topic that has become passe. And we're wasting federal dollars my tax dollars, your tax dollars, that I could be paying back a lot of other Obama's programs with, to go ahead and fight something that's already failing and is doomed to fail. We need to readjust our efforts, and we need to say, instead of pu uh, punishing and, uh, people's lives through, through criminal records, instead of punishing society to make this an underground effort, which in effect supports the drug dealers that sell it, supports the terrorists that sell it, supports the underground scum of society that they go ahead and peddle this stuff out to little kids on junior high school grounds, 
let's go ahead and bring it up like we have done cigarettes and alcohol. Let's regulate it. I don't even mind taxing it a little bit, not too much, <laughs> to make sure that we're actually doing what's right for society. Let's move it away, be fiscally responsible, help people rehabilitate themselves. There's already groups like AA, I think it's al is the group, that goes ahead and helps people that use marijuana uh, and it's and it, to the point where they can't control their lives. But at no point does our founding documents say, does our constitution say the federal government should be stepping in, that we should be arresting people for this, and that we should be wasting our money in order to uh, continue this fruitless effort. So that's why I along with many other conservatives have stood up to say we need to end this now we need to get this country back on track there's bigger issues at hand great thanks jordan